Hello and welcome back to another video on the Autodot YouTube channel. My name is George and today we're going to be talking about EGR or exhaust gas recirculation valves, how they work and everything you need to know about them, especially if your car has one. Now then, EGR valves have been present on cars for many years now and their main purpose is to lower the amount of nitrogen oxide an engine produces. Now it does this by allowing some of the exhaust gases to be redirected back through the engine's intake to be burnt off again in the combustion process. Now EGR valves are only typically active or open between set engine speeds and this is typically between 1 and 2000 RPM. And this is because with the introduction of hot exhaust gases back through the engine's intake it restricts power because hot air is less dense less air equals less power. Now EGR systems are great. They do exactly what they were designed to do. They were designed to lower the nitrous oxide levels that an engine produces. But by design, they're almost certain to fail at some point in their life. Because EGR valves allow sooty exhaust gases to flow through them. And so it's only a matter of time before they get blocked up and so they require periodic cleaning or even sometimes a complete replacement. Now the best thing that you can do to ensure that your EGR valve is functioning correctly is to locate it and physically remove it for inspection. And this is where you have to make the decision if it's worth cleaning the EGR valve or if you actually need a complete replacement. Okay then, so I hope this video has been somewhat helpful. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Please remember to give it a like. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Remember to subscribe to the Auto.YouTube channel and I will see you all in that next one.